Well, hello from Mexico. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on doing freestanding lace. I know a lot of people like the delicate nature of the freestanding lace and are interested in learning how to make it. So I thought I would give you a quick little tutorial on one way to make some freestanding lace. I am going to choose a shape just from my Embrilliance library. I do use Embrilliance to digitize and um, if you visit my page you'll see that I am an affiliate now for Embrilliance and I have a link that I do get a little jingle back in my pocket if you purchase through my link. Um, but I've always uh, believed in a good product and Embrilliance is a really good product. I had a digitizing program before and I'm not going to smear any names but um, it was a lot more expensive, a lot more expensive and four times as expensive at least and um, I didn't have good customer service and it wasn't user friendly but this is. So anyhow we went to our library, this little button up here and I'm grabbing from the floral, I'm grabbing flower number 10, flora, floral number 10. So we're going to start with this design and it's about 111 16th by 111 16th. That's a nice little size. Let's hit just the number one on the keyboard. And it goes to 100%. That's the size. Um, you see which size it actually is. And you get a little better of a view. Now, when I start my freestanding lace, I also know that I'm going to want to hang this because I like hanging my little freestanding laces. So I'm going to go back into the um, library again. And I am going to change our get myself a circle. Okay? Hit OK. You can tell I have a little lag um, because I am hooked up to the internet right now and I'm working from satellite uh, computer or internet and it's pretty slow. Um, it's doing okay today but it's pretty slow. That's a quarter inch by a quarter inch. That's the size I want it. Now I want to move it up and I'm so sorry you're having to deal with my lag because it's frustrating to me, so it probably is to you as well. And I'm going to put it right there for now. I can move it later if I need to. Um, so now I have my flower shape I want, and I also have a circle that I want to hang it with later. The first thing I want to do here is I want to make this into freestanding lace. And if you go up here to your um, different little tabs here, this one's going to say freestanding lace or quilted fill. I'm going to hit the free, this button and I have this set on freestanding lace double. You do have different options there. You could do a single. Um, I prefer the double. I like to give it a little more strength and you can change your density. You can change your stitch length. You can change it to diamond if you like that better. Um, I'm going to keep it right here like this. Then I'm going to go in the color and I'm going to just change the color because um, I'm not really fond of the neon red. It looks kind of orange to me anyhow, but hey, reds and oranges are kind of difficult. So let's go, oh, let's make that a pretty rose color. Good. Okay, so this is the freestanding lace. And of course, if I did this, it would just be floppy. There would be no um, substance to it uh, because there's no edging on it. Um, but so now, first, before I do the edging, I want to work on the inside. I want to circle here as well for kind of the center of the flower. So I'm going to take this circle here and I'm going to do it. Command C or Control C if you're Windows, and Command V or Control V if you're Windows. I'm a Mac, so I do the command. And I'm going to put that in the middle, and I'm going to hold my Shift key while I make it just a little bit bigger. Again, I have a lag. Um, and the reason I hold my Shift key is it keeps it in the center there. So I already put it in the center, and if I just make it bigger, I'm going to have to move it over. And if I don't, um, Want that to happen? I just hold the shift key when I do that. I'm trying to share a little shortcuts with you all because they are very helpful and um, much quicker for um, doing things. Uh, with this little circle here, I want to make this have a satin around it all. Kind of just pretty it up. I double clicked it because of the lag. Trick me again. I'm going to make this a darker rose color. Let's see. It's a rosebud. Hmm. Something pretty. Okay, let's go. A 
let's just go with the fuchsia. Okay, and so we have this here now. I like that. I think that I'm going to also make this, the little loop for hanging, the same color. So let's go up to this little loop. I can click on it here, or I can click on it over here. Either way is fine, in the panel or right actually on your design. I'm going to also give this a satin. 2.5 is pretty good, I think. And on the color, I am going to make that the same color. I'm going to go see where it says threads up here. Right here it says palettes. These are ones I'm using currently. So I'm going to go to palettes, and I can easily find that color there. And say, okay. So there we have that. Now the final thing I want to do, and I'm going to make this the same color as well, is we're going to want to put a satin all around here so that it's not like floppy. We want to have some, you know, some substance to our freestanding lace and cover up the edging. For me, the easiest way is I'm going to click up here in the panel, or I'm going to click here on the design. I'm going to do Command-C, Command-V. I have a Mac. If you have a Windows, it's Control. C, Control, V. Now I copied the lace again, and it comes right to the bottom. What I want to do is I want to instead make that the satin as well. And then I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to click on the color, and I'm on palette still, not on thread, so that's good. And I'm going to make it that fuchsia color. Okay. Now, there we have our freestanding lace flower. Let's see if we can make that a little bigger for you to see. All the edges are nicely covered. Got the little hoop in the middle. You could add lines here. You can make the petals more defined. Of course, do that before you do this last step. Now we can see this one here is peeking a little bit under. What do we want to do? We want to bring that up just a bit. I'm going to hit my up arrow key because I find that pretty easy. Yep. So we got it nice and covered. Um, I like it. It's easy. It's fun. And freestanding lace is a, a great um, way to play with your digitizing skills. If you have any questions, just put those in the comments, and I'm happy to fill the, uh, answer those questions for you. And I will in the comments also post um, my link for Imbrilliance as an affiliate. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous day. Hugs.